Baythor created man in his own image. In the image of Baythor, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And to the female, Baythor declared, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain shall you bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Now Baythor declared it so, but the women of our village believe they know their place even better than the Lord does. For they bear us no children, they bear us no difference, and they do not drink the blood of Baythor. They, these children of the night, feast on the blood of man. For charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. We witness no fear. And yet, these daughters of Baythor not only reject the Lord's teachings, but use their flesh to turn us to the side of evil. The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked will be destroyed. Baythor gave us the key to eternal life and eternal peace in paradise. Now we have betrayed Baythor, and we are to be punished. They are the ones who flaunt their barren flesh, and yet we are to be punished. We are to be punished. God will forgive all who confess their sin. We must cleanse Baythor's home of this evil. We must purge this darkness. We must slay these demons. In the name of Baythor, our Lord, we must spill the blood of the truths.